hoochies. So, um, last time we were going through a lot. Now, since I've opened myself more to spirit and to, forgive me, it is your hood rat astrologist, highly sensitive hood rat, clear the space. My egg yolk hair mask is running. If you see it running in the video, mind your business. So like I was saying, I'm now on the other side of spirit and now it's just about being open to insights and guidance. Um, and um, I got this thought earlier, I was doing laundry and Come on, Jasmine, get with the shits. You have salmon in the oven. We don't have time. I was doing laundry, and I got this thought of, as far as how you can compare doing laundry to manifesting. And when you do laundry, you everyone knows the steps. You put the clothes in the laundry. You add the soap. You put the butt, press the buttons you need, and you go on about your day. You know the laundry's going to get done. You know that's for a fact. There is no doubt in your mind your clothes will be washed. And there's no doubt in your mind that you know the steps that it takes to get those clothes washed. It's really, what's not in your control is how long it's going to take. You can't snap your fingers and it's done. You have to wait for it every single time. And honestly, when you're sitting and waiting for it to be done is when it seems like it's taking the longest. But when you go and, you know, go shower, go run an errand, go do something, it's done by the time you know it, before you know it. So the same can be said for manifesting and, um... I wanted to share that. Um, I also wanted to share something I thought about last night where I was thinking of, um, you know, a situation, there's a situation in my life right now where God's already let me know that it's going to turn out. It's going to work out. It's going to work itself out. And that ultimately I'm going through it to get stronger, to, you know, grow in my faith. But then there's the mind and the mind not which is not the heart the heart works off of faith off of just blind faith and the mind is you know numbers and indefinites and the mind is saying you know but what if this happens or you know have me questioning my ability to get through something and and as long as you're trying to run away from that feeling you're feeding fear and Last night, I was thinking, I'm like, everything is just a manifestation. Everything is just, you know, an entity. And I honor all things, you know. I know that even, like, that comes down to, like, you know, a rodent or something. Because it's God's creation, I honor it. And that has to be, the same has to be said for my particular journey. I can't be shaming or um, belittling or making or in fear of my journey in any way because it's not going to help it move in a way that I would like to see it move and it's not just going to, it's not going to help the situation whatsoever. So I took the time to be like, you know what, even if I can't control the outcome, or even if I don't like the particular outcome, I still, God damn, I still honor my journey. I still honor whatever is, you know, intended to happen for me. And it's very freeing to feel that way. It's very um, powerful to feel that way. And... And I do. I feel free. I feel powerful. And I'm in my heart. And I literally had to get down like on my knees and just be like, take it away. Any thought of mine that makes me feel unworthy of, you know, what I'm asking for. Any thought of mine that makes me feel like there's something I need to be or something I need to do for that to become or be so. Take it away. Because it's not my genuine self. It's not from my heart. It's a construct that's been put in my mind. And, um, and yeah, I decided last night that whatever the fuck it is that I desire, it came from a pure place. 
It came from a beautiful fucking heart, a huge overflowing heart, you know, a priceless heart. And it's simply a matter of removing fear and staying in alignment with the things that I desire because they can be, they already exist technically because I've seen them in my mind. That means they already exist. So there is no doubt on whether or not it can happen or if it's gonna happen. It's already happened, it's happening, and I just need to pay attention to guidance and stay open to, you know, the path that gets me there. And same for you, okay? So go write down the shit you want, go believe in the shit you want, go and act like the person that has the shit you want. And, um, and, and so it is. Let it be done. Ashe.